Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and today we'll be making uh, dynamic content for our template. So the first thing you have to do is figure out what you think is going to be changing um, from uh, user to user and from actual interactions with your application. So usually the two sections are going to change. The head section, um, which is going to have a navigation bar. And it'll also have some kind of account links. So we'll have those two. And there's also a footer that's going to be dynamically changing. So we're going to write functions percent exclamation to declare that we're going to be writing functions. And we'll have a public static string git navigation bar and string s equals empty string return s public static string git account uh, links this will take an object o as a parameter string s equals empty string return s public static string git footer and this will return just a string. So these functions don't really do anything yet, but we're just putting them there just so that we call them down here. Percent equals git navigation bar. That takes nothing. Oh, that doesn't need a semicolon either. And percent equals git account links. And this will take um, a session, a, our account ID, so we'll have to get attribute, and we're going to create a constant up here. Public static final string account user user ID equals the string user ID, so that we can, if we ever decide to change, call it something else, then we could just change this constant here. So we're going to put this constant as an argument here. And then we will also call percent equals get footer. Format it. So we'll start with the easy one. This will be uh, ampersand copy semicolon 2012 shop.com. So we'll save it, come back here, refresh it, and we'll see that here's shop.com. Um, but I would like it to be centered and the proper size, so we'll also apply this two pound footer. Uh, format it, save it, template, refresh, and now it's centered, um, except I want it more centered than that. So pound footer, text, align, center. Format, format that, get rid of this F, save it, come back, refresh it, and now it's even more centered. Um, and we come back here and right now this, this these aren't doing anything these two so that's why this is kind of collapsing on itself so what we need to do is first thing I like to do is add this public static uh, final string array shown equals a new string array put that and we'll copy this paste it and this will be link and for this we'll do uh, index.jsp comma um, about.jsp as a string and up here we will do shop and about and the goal is to have a one-to-one -one mapping where this is what's shown and this is the in the uh, li the link to what's shown. So for the navigation bar, we'll do for int i equals zero. I is less than shown dot length. It doesn't really matter. They should be the same length. Um, and s will be plus equals to an anchor tag with an href attribute. Um, 
doesn't go there. And this will be the link of the ith thing we're looking at. And we will also add this closing to the anchor tag. We'll add shown sub i. And we will add a closing anchor tag, semicolon. And we return s, format it, and save it. Come back here, refresh it, and here it is. Uh, right now, it doesn't really look like it's showing up properly because I need to say href equals. So we'll save that, come back here, refresh it, and now it looks like two links, except they're right next to each other. So at the end of every anchor tag, we'll add a space. Come back here, refresh it, there's the space, and now it says shop and about. So that's dynamically creating. A navigation bar and if we ever wanted to add something we would just add it add what we want to show and add the link to what we where we want that thing shown to go so we can show an image for example um, and plain text as we are doing so for this one we don't really need to do this at all I just did that for the moment so if O, so O is going to be the user ID if the user ID is null, meaning that the person's not logged in, versus if they are logged in. So if they are not logged in, we are going to give them links to log in, and we will give them a link to uh, sign up. And this needs to be an anchor tag anchor tag and both of these anchor tags should have an href uh, which is going to have pound for now but once you decide what you want that to be you can set that and this will be href equals pound as well okay and we'll basically take this string put it here and so this will be count this will be log out. Format that. Get rid of that. Save it. Come back here. Here it is. Log in. Sign up. Um, now I want those to be on the same line. Um, so what I'm going to do is for the pound um, navigation bar, I will position it. Uh, absolutely and its left will be five pixels for the moment and the pound um, account will also be position absolute and its right will be five pixels and we'll format that and the something else you have to do well we need to change the header so if we have anything that targets the header in here let's find it so we don't so let's make something that targets the header only and set its position to be relative just so that these absolute positionings will work properly so we're going to come back here and everything this will be yeah smaller than it's supposed to be so the reason is because these things are being positioned absolutely um, but uh, and when they're positioned absolutely they're not considered to be part of the document so what we have to do is set the header to have a height of let's say 12 pixels so we'll come back here and see how good that was, see if that was a good estimation. So it's obviously bigger than that. So we'll go with 16 pixels, come back, refresh, bigger than that, we'll do 20 pixels. And it's probably a little bit bigger than that, so we'll do 24 pixels. This will probably just about do it. So now it looks right, these are right aligned, these are left aligned and that's all of our dynamic content and all we really have to do is take these functions and uh, all these members and 
make a new class.